yes I did. Oh come on, yes I did. You're just a sore loser. <laughs> I totally won. What do you mean? <laughs> okay, yes, you hit my chest with four snowballs, but I hit your face with two snowballs and hit your back with another two, and hitting your face is double the points. <laughs> that is totally how it works it's not my fault that you don't know the rules of a snowball fight <laughs> what i would never make up rules just so i could be the winner <laughs> what kind of neko do you take me for <laughs> but did you have fun though yay <laughs> that's good to hear and i'm glad that neon hermit came out with those both of them seemed a little stressed recently, and a good outing among friends is always good to release some stress. <laughs> I'm... I'm alright. It is still unsettling that someone who I'm close to broke into my house, stole my family stuff, and left me stranded in the middle of the woods. But I won't let that get me down or ruin my mood. I... Still would like to know why he did it. But of course, we need to find him first to get those answers out of him, right? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, I was having so much fun talking, I didn't realize that I was kind of cold. <laughs> mm, that's right, we should change into warmer clothes before we catch a cold. Okay, fine, before I catch a cold. You didn't have to look at me like that, you know? <laughs> <gasps> we can wear those matching onesies that we got last week. Eee! This is the perfect time to wear them. Ah, I'll go grab them. Ta-da! How do I look? <laughs> thank you, thank you. Here is yours. Give me your clothes so I can put them in the wash. What? You don't want to get undressed in front of me? You act like I haven't seen you without clothes on before. <laughs> Fine, I'll turn around if it makes you feel better. <laughs> My mate's so adorable. Hmm? Nothing. I said these ones are so adorable. All dressed? <laughs> Perfect, let me... Oh, you look so cute in it. Let me grab my phone. We need to take a picture. Yes, we do. How can we be a cute couple without taking cute couple pictures? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll only take one. Or ten. We shall see. <laughs> Alright, come here. Ugh. Sometimes I hate how tiny I am compared to you. Hard to get a good picture with us. Here, go behind me. Yep, just like that. Wrap your arms around my waist, just like that. Put your chin on my shoulder. Tilt it. A little bit more. Perfect. Now say cheese. Oh, that one's cute. And now another one with a kiss. <laughs> oh, I like that one. <laughs> totally wallpaper worthy, don't you think? <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. Now I'll put your clothes in the wash with mine and we can cuddle under the heated blanket and watch some Netflix. Alright, the clothes are washing. Don't forget to put them in the dryer though. Hmm? What's this? Ooh, eggnog. Thank you. You spoil me. <laughs> That really hits the spot. May I join you under the blankets? <laughs> yep. I love how warm you are. <laughs> Makes me get warmed up so much faster. <laughs> All right, what are we gonna watch first? Oh, I haven't watched this one in a while, but it's a good choice though. 
Hmm? Oh, right, the Christmas party. Your pack knows how to throw some great parties. The Holly one was so much fun. So I'm excited to go to this one. When are Neon's and her mates gifts supposed to arrive? Okay, good. I know they wouldn't mind if the gifts came a little late, but I'd rather give them their gifts at the party, you know? Also, Neon's mates said they're going to mostly be wearing red, and I kind of want to match that with them if that's okay. I know you enjoyed picking out our costumes for Halloween, so I just wanted to ask if that would be okay with you. <laughs> yeah! Yay! Here, let me show you what outfit is we're thinking of wearing. Right? I also think the outfits are cute, and all of us will look so good. No, I don't want to wear the exact same clothes as them, just the same color scheme. Yeah, exactly. It would be cute, wouldn't it? <laughs> when you are done with pack stuff tomorrow, maybe you can go shopping? Uh -uh. I don't have work for the rest of the week. The clinic is closed since the owner's out of town for the holidays. We can? Perfect. <laughs> you are the best me that could ask for. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? No, I'm not, I promise. I know that I haven't been talking about the situation with you, or with anyone for that matter. <sighs> I don't want you to think that I'm trying to avoid situation or pretend that didn't happen. It's just that... I just don't know what to think, or what to do. I haven't seen my younger brother since he moved overseas to have a better life, like he wanted. Though, I thought our parents raised us pretty well. I thought he just wanted to have more opportunities, so I don't know why he would steal our parents' stuff and leave me to basically die. We did lost touch, but I didn't think he would hate me so much that he would do such things. I'm overthinking, trying to figure it all out, but I can't come up with any reasons why he would do this. No, he wasn't here when our parents passed away, and he didn't even come to their funeral. When I told him that they were gone, he didn't respond to me. At first, I thought he was just in shock and didn't know how to take the news. But after two months went by and still don't know, but after two months went by and still no replies from him, I started to think that he didn't care. Which made me upset because even though he didn't stay in touch with us, our parents died. So what do you want to come back and talk to me about it? To make sure that I'm okay? If I needed anything? I was the one who had to bury them. I was the one who was all alone in the house until I was able to sell it. I had to mourn their deaths all by myself. I had to get through all of that by myself. And now all of a sudden he comes back and does this? I just want to know why. Why did he come back? Why did he sell her parents' stuff? Why does he hate so much. <laughs> Thanks for the hug, sweetheart. I don't know if I hate him. I hate that he didn't come back when our parents died. 
and I hate what he did to me, but I just don't know. I should, right? I should hate him for doing all of this, but it feels like he did all of this for a reason. A good reason? I don't know, probably not, but I just want to talk to him about it. However, we haven't been able to find him and that's frustrating. Not having an explanation is also frustrating. I don't want that frustration to ruin your mood or Neon's mate's mood since oof, they have been going through it recently. I know, love. I know. Again, it's just me not wanting to be a burden to anyone and that feeling stronger than the frustration that I feel. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being here for me. I'm still working on being more open. So, thank you for being patient with me. <gasps> yes, I'm getting kind of sleepy. And the eggnog did not help at all. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, Neon? <laughs> Can I curl up into your chest as you talk to her? <laughs> of course I don't mind that you talk with her. Plus, I like hearing the sound of your voice. So go right ahead, love. <laughs> hey, bestie. How are you all comfy and cozy after our snowball war? <laughs> What do you mean? We totally won. <laughs> Tell Nozomi she's delusional. <laughs> but anyway, there's still some packed things that we gotta go through tomorrow. Do you mind if I... Uh... 